Hello, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is t power of a half minus t power of 1 over 3 is equal to 4. To find the value of t from this equation, so that t is element of a real number. Now, solution. From this our problem here, which is t power of a half minus t power of 1 over 3 is equal to 4. In the first step, we'll remove these fractions into the powers. So we let this t, so we let t is equal to x. From here into the powers, we have 2, we'll multiply 2 times 3, it is 6. So we let t is equal to x power of 6. Now we substitute from t, it is x power of 6, so it will be x power of 6, then bracket this power here, power of a half, minus t, it is x power of 6, then bracket this power here, power of 1 over 3, is equal to 4. Then in the next step, from this exponent and this exponent is in the form of the rule, which is a power of m, bracket, power of n, which is equal to a power of m times n. So from this rule here, we'll apply this form. Then it will be x, so x power of 6 times power of a half minus x power of 6 times this power of 1 over 3 is equal to 4. Now into here we'll, we'll simplify. So here by 1, this by so it will be x power of 3 times 1, it is 3, minus x power here by 1, here by 2. So 2 times 1, it is 2, is equal to 4. Then into here, we'll take x, this 4 to the left side. So it will be x power of 3 minus x power of 2. 4 we'll take to this side to be minus 4, is equal to 0. Then it will be x power of 3 minus x power of 2 minus into here this 4 we split according to this exponent with these powers so 4 is same as 8 minus 4 it is 4 then is equal to 0 then into here it will be x power of 3 minus x power of 2 minus bracket here 8 into exponent, 8 is same as 2 power of 3. Now we see we, can, we have same power of 3. Then minus 4 is same as 2 power of 2. Then power of 2 bracket is equal to 0. Then we'll open the brackets by this negative. So it will be x power of 3 minus x power of 2. Here it will be minus 2 power of 3. Here it will be minus and minus to be plus 2 power of 2 is equal to 0. Then with like powers of 3, we place together inside the bracket. So we start by this, x power of 3, then this here, minus 2 power of 3 bracket, then here, it will be this here, minus here, minus x square, then this here, plus 2 square, is equal to 0. Then in the next step, it will be x power of 3 minus 2 power of 3 bracket. Then here we take negative outside the bracket. So negative x squared divided by negative, it is positive x squared. 2 squared divided by negative is minus 2 squared. Bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from this part here, this part, this part here, x power of 3 minus 2 power of 3 is in the form of the rule of a power of 3 minus b power of 3, which is equal to a minus b bracket times bracket a square plus a b plus b square bracket. And from this part here, x square minus 2 square is in the form of the rule, which is a square minus b square is equal to a minus b bracket 
then times bracket a plus b bracket so here when we compare a power of 3 with x power of 3 then a is equal to x and when we compare b power of 3 with 2 power of 3 then b is equal to 2 here same x is a square with x square then a it is x b square with 2 square then b is 2 so we'll apply this rule here this rule into this form from this part so it will be a minus b it will be x minus 2 so here x minus 2 bracket bracket a square it will be x square then plus a b it will be x times 2 it is 2 x plus b square it will be 2 square which is 4 bracket then minus from this part is in this form then we change into this form so a minus b it will be x minus 2 so here bracket x minus 2 bracket bracket a plus b it will be x plus 2 bracket then it is equal to this 0 then in the next step from here into here x minus 2 is common so we'll take x minus 2 bracket outside the bracket then this here divided by x minus 2 it is this so here it is x square plus 2x plus 4 then this here divided by x minus 2 it will be minus then bracket this here because this will cancel this so it will remain this so x plus 2 bracket bracket is equal to 0 then it will be x minus 2 bracket bracket x square plus 2x plus 4 we take negative inside the bracket so to be minus x here it will be minus 2 bracket is equal to 0 then into here it will be x minus 2 bracket bracket here it will be x square then 2x minus x it is x so plus x then 4 minus 2 it is 2 then plus 2 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions where this first solution of x minus 2 is equal to 0 and this second solution of x square plus x plus 2 is equal to 0 then from this first solution here we take negative 2 to this side so it will be x is equal to 2 and into here this quadratic equation we check if it will give a real solution because from here t is element of a real number so to check here we'll use the determinant formula whereas first a is equal to coefficient of x square it is 1 and b is equal to coefficient of x is 1 and c is equal to constant is 2 so from the determinant formula is equal to b square minus 4ac so it will be determinant is equal to b square it will be 1 square minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is 2 so it will be determinant is equal to 1 square it is 1 then minus 4 times 2 it is 8 then it will be determinant is equal to 1 minus 8 it is negative 7 whereas this value here it is less than 0 so if it is less than 0 then into he into this solution we have complex roots so no from here if we have complex roots so no real solution so into this solution it will be rejected so we we'll continue to solve from this first solution here of x is equal to 2 now but into this step here we let t is equal to x power of 6 so from t is equal to x power of 6 here we have to find the value of t not x so it will be t is equal to from x power of 6 x it is 2 so it will be 2 power of 6 
then it will be t is equal to 2 power of 6 is 64. So this is the final answer for the value of t into this uh, problem. Now, let's check this answer if it is correct. So to check from our problem, which is t power of a half minus t power of 1 over 3 is equal to 4. So here, t, t is 64. So it will be 64 power of a half minus t power of 1 over 3. So t here it is 64 power of 1 over 3 is it equal to this 4. Now from this 64, we change it into exponent. 64, it is 2 power of 6. Then bracket this power of a half minus 64, it is 2 power of 6. Then bracket this power of 1 over 3, is it equal to this 4. Then here it will be, we open the bracket, so it will be 2 power of 6 times this power of a half minus 2 power of 6, also here open the bracket, times 1 over 3, is it equal to this 4. Now here to simplify, by 1 here by 2, so it will be 2 power of 2. No, here by 1, here by 3, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so it will be 2 power of 3, minus here by 1, here by 2, so it will be 2 power of 2 is it equal to 4 then into here from 2 power of 3 it is 8 minus 2 power of 2 it is 4 is equal to 4 then 8 minus 4 it is 4 is equal to 4 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of t is equal to this 64 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.